All right, you guys, uh, welcome to class. Uh, yes, uh, there is always a problem when I, I have classes back to back. Uh, Hangouts does something new to where I have to, uh, it has to load the class. Sometimes it gets stuck and, uh, and I have to wait for it. So there's, there's nothing that, that I can do. Um, when when I go from one class to another, except for wait for Hangouts to load. So I do apologize uh, that it uh, it does start late uh, every once in a while. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, so this hour we are going to be discussing or continuing our discussion about vocabulary words, uh, uh, more specifically buildings, places, and things we find inside of them. Okay, talking about maybe restaurants, grocery stores. Um, uh, maybe computer stores, well, things that we would find uh, around the city. Okay. All right. So let's see who we have in class so far. Hi, Samantha. How are you? Hi. Thanks. Great. Welcome back to class. Good to see you again. Thanks. <laughs> All right. How about Marco? How are you? Hi. Fine. You? I'm doing great. Good to see you. All right. How about uh, Lily? How are you? I'm good, thank you. Great, welcome back to class. Good to see you again. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, so let's go to our our sheet. I put the link in the chat box. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Now uh, we're going to scroll down. I've I've done uh, I've done this class about uh, two or three days so far, so we're a couple of pages in. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. Okay, keep going past uh, page two. Okay, and uh, uh, the other day we ended on copy center. Okay, now a copy center is a place where you go and uh, make copies, okay, uh, of paper, okay, maybe you need a document copied, something like that, uh, that's, uh, that's where, where we would go. So, uh, the key to the class, uh, we will uh, we'll, we'll, uh, uh, take a look at the words, okay, we'll talk about the words, and then I want you to use the word in a sentence, okay. Uh, um, as we talk about it, sometimes it'll be uh, something that we can purchase in a store. So I want you to tell me which store we can purchase that in, okay. So we have a couple of new uh, newcomers. Uh, Layat, how are you? Layat, make sure that your microphone is not muted uh, because I cannot hear you right now. All right, how about uh, Victor? How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. And you? I'm doing good, man. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, how about uh, Roberto? Hello, can you hear me? I sure can. How, how are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Good to have you here. Sorry? Uh, it's good to have you here. Okay, yeah, it's the first time for me. Fabulous. Well, I I'm happy to have you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, uh, how about uh, Layad? Okay, uh, let, me, uh, let me show you a trick here, Layad. So if, uh, if you come into class and uh, the teacher cannot hear you, um, follow my mouse over here. I want you to come right up here, right up above where it says Verbling, okay, and you'll see a microphone. If this is the color red, like this, okay, that means that I cannot hear you, okay? It means that you are okay. muted. There you are. Hi, teacher. Hi, now I can hear you. How you doing? I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Um, very good. Let's see. Uh, Tamram, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Great. Welcome, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Um, this is my first time. Great. Well, welcome, welcome to Verbling. It's a pleasure to have you in class. Uh, thank you, but uh, I'm not uh, understanding how it's working. Um, well, I, I'll uh, I'll explain a few things, okay? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. How about uh, uh, Julia? How are you? Julia, can you hear me okay? All right. Let's uh, let's see, Julia. Uh, if you if you can uh, hear me, uh, make sure that if you're looking here at the screen that you come up right here and make sure that this is not red. If this is red, that means I cannot hear you. If it's this color, okay, that means I can't hear you. Um, if uh, if it is white, make sure to come here to your settings. Okay, and you can select which microphone or speakers you're going to be using and then save your settings afterwards. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, uh, let's see. It looks like I've met everybody. All right, you guys. Uh, the link... Uh, the link to, uh, to the class is right here in the chat box. Okay, if you are new... If you are new to, to Verbling, all you will need to do, okay, you see over here on the right-hand side, my mouse, I'm circling here what uh, Doan wrote, wrote to me, okay? Okay, come right down here where you see my name, Chad Hansen, okay, and select the link. It will open just like this. Okay, and you'll uh, you'll get to see all of the uh, the uh, uh, pictures that we are going to look at. Now, this is a uh, a beginner's uh, vocabulary class. Okay, so we're going to be going over uh, words for buildings, places, and the things we find inside of them. Okay. All right. So go ahead and open that up. Okay, uh, we're going to scroll down. So I'll go back up to the top here. So once you're up at the top, scroll down this way because I've already taught two classes here, okay, with the vocabulary words. So we're going to scroll down, okay, past page one, past page two. Hello? Okay, and we're going to end right here. Let's see. Hi, Julia, I can hear you. How are you? I'm doing good. Great. Julia, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Great. Great. Well, welcome welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thank you very much. All right. How about uh, Sabri? Sabri, welcome to class. Good to see you again. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay, you guys. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to start off with, uh, with Victor over on the, uh, the right-hand side. And Victor, uh, I'm, gonna, okay. I'm going to uh, zoom in. Okay, so we talked about a copy center the other day. Uh, our next word is this word right here. Go ahead and read that for me, please. Crackers. Crackers. Yeah, cra crackers. Crackers. Okay, that has a, a long... <laughs> Uh, a, a long uh, or, or that a sound that's an ah sound cra okay now um, yeah. crackers where can we buy crackers at in the supermarket good in the supermarket and uh, and Victor do you like to eat crackers I I don't usually eat uh, crackers crackers because uh, they have uh, too much uh, fat, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, carbohydrates. Yeah, th that would be carbohydrates. Yeah, carbohydrates. Yeah. Excellent. So yes, um, crackers are a carbohydrate. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at some other types of crackers here. Okay, so these here, class, these are all crackers, and they are crunchy. Okay, and uh, and yes, if you are uh, looking to lose weight, uh, crackers are not the best thing to eat because they have a lot of carbohydrates. Okay, yeah. so Victor, uh, Victor, let me have you use the word crackers in a sentence. Okay. Um. 
yesterday I went to the supermarket to buy crackers. There you go, to buy crackers. Okay, excellent, thank you. Uh, now, the word cracker, okay, in the United States, okay, also means someone who is, uh, who has fair skin, okay? So, for example, a someone who is uh, African American or a black person, okay, if they want to uh, uh, call me a mean name, okay, because I have light skin, okay, they may call me a cracker, all right? So, you may hear that in movies or in TV, okay? They say, hey, look at that cracker, Okay, a cracker is a white person. Okay, someone that has light skin. Okay, so that's a it's a it's a funny word that they use for us. Okay, uh, very good. So let's go to Tamram. Hello. Hi, Tamram. Uh, please read this next word here. I'm Julia. I'm Julia here. You mean me? Uh, no, Tamram. Um, Sorry, yeah. Yes. Uh, hi, Tamram. Uh, let me have you read the next picture here, please, or the next word. Yeah, um, cream cheese. Good. Excellent pronunciation. Okay, cream cheese. Okay. Now, what uh, what can we use cream cheese for? Um, for bread. Yes, good. You can put cream cheese on bread, okay? Now, cream cheese is a white cheese that you can spread, okay? See here on on this bread here, okay? It's sort of like butter, okay? But it's a cheese. Now, Thamram, uh, have you eaten cream cheese before? Yes. Okay, do you like cream cheese? Um, yes, sometimes. Okay, all right. Very good. So, um, where can we uh, eat cream cheese at? There's probably two places. We can buy it uh, in two, two different places and eat it. Mm. Grocery stores? Good, yes, a grocery store would be one place. Now, what what if you go to a a uh, another place and order a sandwich? Okay, where where can you order a sandwich at that would have uh, cream cheese at? Okay, those places would be uh, either a sandwich shop. Yeah. Oh, whoops. A sandwich shop or a. Okay, Tell so me. sometimes, sometimes sandwich shops and delis have Tell sandwiches. Me. Okay, sandwiches that have a uh, uh, okay, a sandwich shop, uh, um, and and you can get a sandwich like this, and they put cream cheese on it. Okay, and it's very delicious. Or at a deli as well. Okay, a deli would sell uh, cream cheese. Okay, so um, Tamram, mm -hmm. let me have you use the word cream cheese in a sentence, please. Oh, Tamram took off. Okay, let's go to Samantha. Okay, hi. Samantha. Uh, hi there. Let me have you use or read this word, please. Daycare. Okay, daycare. Daycare. Let me have you try that one more time. Daycare. Daycare. Good, just like that. Great <laughs> pronunciation. Okay. Now, what uh, what is daycare? Mm. Uh, it, it's a place where uh, uh, I stay, baby. Good. <laughs> okay. So daycare. Daycare is a place where children. Okay, children are taken care of by someone else. Okay, so let's Maybe say like a table, right? A little table. Uh, it, well, that's part of it. You may find a table in a daycare center, but let's say let's say that uh, that uh, Samantha has has a child. Okay, no. but she also has to work. 
Okay, she can take her child to a daycare center. Okay, so that she can go to work. All right, bro that's bro brother school. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a, a, a chi child school sometimes. Yeah, so that would be a daycare, a daycare center. Okay, so that that's what uh, that's what they are used for. Let's uh, let's see some other uh, uh, pictures here. Okay, yeah, yeah. So sometimes you have a lot of things to play with. Okay, um, they'll be able to play there, uh, learn as well. So and uh, okay, so things to play with while their parents are at work. So when their parents are at work, you can drop your children off at oh, a, a day daycare center. A daycare is a, is the place, right? Yes, daycare oh. is a daycare is a place. Okay, oh. and it, it's a place. Something. It's a place. Ah, okay. It's a place that parents can drop their can leave their kids at when they have to go work. Okay, so that's what they use a daycare center for. All right. So, oh. uh, Samantha, let me have you use the word daycare in a sentence, please. Uh, yes. Uh, when uh, I, if we have a uh, baby, I drop uh, them, uh, them in a daycare. Okay. All right. Very good. So, you drop them. Instead of saying in, it would be at. Okay. Drop them at a daycare. At. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Chat Let's, maybe open yes. of uh, teacher. Um. Oh. Now, an old an old person's daycare would be a nursing home. Hmm, okay. Okay. Uh, a yeah. nursing home is is for uh um people uh, that are that are older. Okay. Yeah. So, Okay. okay. And it's Thank and you. it's sort of it's it's sort of like a daycare for um for old people. Okay. So this okay. this would be um, more of a nursing home. Okay. So where the uh, the older older people can go. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Let's go to our next word. Sabri. Yes. Uh, go ahead and read this word, please. Delhi. Ah, uh, good. Yes, a Delhi, Delhi. Yeah. Okay. Delhi and, is and maybe uh, sausage and ladies salad. first. Maybe she uh, she is sh shop. Okay, so uh, a, a Delhi. Okay, uh, you can you can buy a lot of different things there. Okay, at a Delhi. Okay, uh, meat. Okay, sometimes you can mm -hmm. get special meat, uh, yeah. cheese, sandwiches, things like that. Okay. Is like a, is like a uh -huh, know, yes, it's the same. It's the same thing. Delicatessen. It's the but same thing as a like store. a supermarket. Um, it's 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 a smaller. It's a what am I getting here? Delicatessen shop. Oops. Um, yeah, so it, a delicatessen, a, the, the short word for it is a deli, okay? And it, and it sells a lot of different things, okay? Yes, it is, it is a small store, but you can get specialized items, okay? Uh, cakes, bread, uh, cheese, meat, sandwiches, okay? Things like that, okay? Uh, you won't be able to find milk. Okay, milk, eggs, or anything like that at a delicatessen. Uh, it's usually they usually have things prepared for you. Maybe okay, or so that you, can, you can take it. What's that? Juice. Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes you you'll have you'll have juice there. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, all right. Let me have you use the word delicatessen or deli. Let me have you use the word deli in a sentence, Sabri. Okay. Uh... I do shopping every morning from Delhi. Okay. Uh, instead of uh, from, okay, it would be at at uh, okay. at a Delhi. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank Very good.
Good. Let's go to uh, uh, Ruizo. Ruizo, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I, I cannot hear you. Make sure that your microphone is unmuted. Hello? Okay. Uh, uh, there you are. Hi, how are you? Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, Ruizo, uh, let me have you uh, um, take a look at this next word, please. Yes. Uh, please read this next word. Department store. Great. Department store. Department and store. Okay. Great. Excellent. So what uh, what do we find at a department store class? Uh, clothes. Good clothes. What yes. what else? What? Uh, what else can we find at a department store? Underwear? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. underwear. Okay. Um, a lot of times you can find perfume. Good in general. Okay. Yeah. Um, pretty much anything that you need to wear. Okay. So uh, clothes, belts, Shoes, okay, uh, anything that uh, that uh, uh, goes on the outside of your body, okay, that's what you would find at a department store, okay. Uh, some of the most famous ones are Sears, okay. Sears is a famous department store, okay, as well as Dillard's, uh, right here, okay. Dillard's is another famous department store. And in uh, in uh, um, uh, uh, New York, they have Macy's. Macy's yes. is another famous department store. Okay, and they're very large stores uh, where you can buy a lot of different things that uh, have to do with clothes. Okay, clothes and things that you uh, you wear, uh, you know, purses and things like that. Okay, uh, very good. So, um, Russo, uh, let me have you use the word department store in a sentence, please. I do shopping, uh, yes. I do shopping at department store. Okay, all right. Uh, so instead of do shopping, you can say I shop or I go shopping. Instead of do shopping, I go shopping at a department store. Let me have you repeat that, please. I shop at department store. Good, good. Nice job. Thank you. All right, let's go to uh, Roberto. Hello, I'm here. Hi, okay. So, what's this next word, please? Deposit slip. A deposit slip. Okay, let's, uh, let's work on our short I. So, instead of saying deposit slip, it's deposit slip with an i sound deposit slip try that please roberto okay deposit slip good much better now um roberto what is a deposit slip mm, okay i'm not sure enough but i think it's something like uh, related to banks maybe excellent yes it's related to banks and what do you use a deposit slip for mm. Maybe to, I don't know, something related to money, to deposit money or something Good. like that. Good. Yes. Yes. So if you look here, okay, uh, when you uh, fill out a deposit slip, okay, you have to put how much cash or if you have a check, okay, and the amount of money you're entering uh, into your, your bank account. And then uh, you would usually put your, your account number here. Okay. And then uh, put your name. Okay, it's a typical deposit slip. Okay, and most banks have them. Okay, in in uh, English we call that a deposit slip. Okay, good job, Roberto. Yes, they are used at banks. Okay, uh, now Roberto, let me have you use the word deposit slip in a sentence. I'm going to a uh, deposit slip to. To get there a bit of my money, for example. 
Okay, that would be to withdrawal. Deposit, deposit is when you are giving money. Okay, withdrawal okay. is taking. Deposit is give. Okay, so you're going to be filling it out to give them money to, so that they hold on to it. Okay, so let's uh, let's see if we can work on uh, one other sentence. If you are giving the bank money, okay, with your and you fill out a deposit slip. Okay. Okay. Okay, try and use that in another sentence, please. Okay, so it's like it's used like a like a, like a whole word. Deposit the sleeve is together. Uh huh. Yes, they would be together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a deposit the sleeve for for my mortgage. Okay. Good, yeah. So uh, instead of make, we use the word fill. Okay, so we fill uh, fill out a deposit slip. Okay, for my mortgage, and that would be that would be just fine. That would work very well. Okay, Ex excellent job, excellent job. Okay, let's go Thank to uh, Marco. Yeah, I'm here. All right, Marco. Uh, let's go to uh, our next page class. Okay. Uh, what is this word here? Uh, okay. Uh, dorm. Good. A dorm. Now dorm. This, is, this okay. is short for the word dormitory. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that dorm is a place where you can uh, sleep, like a station. I don't know. Yeah. Where you can yeah. sleep. Now, uh, does anybody know where we use the dorm most often? Okay, because you can have a, a an apartment, okay, and you would live in an apartment, but a dorm is one room that you live in, and yeah. we usually use it, okay, when we talk about the university. Oh, okay. So, so Marco, when yeah. if you were to go to another country to go to uh, uh, to go to the university, you would okay. have to rent a dorm. Okay. Okay. So one room. One okay. room that you would live in. Okay, that okay. is a dorm. Okay. Okay. So let me have you use the word dorm in a sentence, Marco. Okay. Uh, for example, when I went abroad uh, for the university, I take a room. I take a dorm. I I rent a dorm. There you go. I rent. Okay, that's the word I we rent. wanted. I, I rent, rent a dorm. Yeah. Okay. A dorm. Good. Good, yeah. So I rent a dorm or I rent a dorm room, okay? A dorm room, okay. Good, nice job. Let's go to Lily. Yeah. All right, Lily, our next word here, please. Drugstore. Okay, drugstore. Okay, uh, now, Lily, do you yeah. know uh, another name for a drugstore? Uh, pharmacy. Good, yes, a pharmacy. <laughs> Good, yeah, a pharmacy. Okay, and uh, and uh, what can you purchase at a pharmacy or at a drugstore? Uh, Where was that? Okay, um, all right, so Lily, uh, what can you uh, purchase at a pharmacy? Uh, Uh, say that one more time. It was breaking up a bit. Okay. Can you repeat your question, please? Yes. Yes. What can you purchase at a drugstore or at a pharmacy? Medicine. Medicine. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and what types of of medicine? All all types or only certain types? All types, I think. All types, very good, and uh, and sometimes for some medications, okay, you have mm -hmm. to have what's called a prescription, yeah, okay, or, or a prescription prescription from a doctor. Okay. Okay, let me spell mm -hmm. that correctly. Excuse me, I have a question. Uh, yes, what's your what's your question? Uh, why? Why it's um, the name is the drugstore, right? But uh, uh, do you know the the origin of this 
of this word? Uh, drug? The, the origin of the word drug? Yeah, drugstore. Because okay, uh, um, everyone, uh, everyone knows what is the meaning of drug, so that is the, that is the confusion. Okay, so ah. originally, originally they were called drug stores, and the person that sold uh, medicine, okay, uh, they they were called a druggist. Okay, they were called a druggist instead of a pharmacist. They were called a druggist. Okay, I don't know why exactly uh, it changed from uh, being a drugstore and a druggist to a pharmacy and a pharmacist. Okay, uh, but. Uh, uh, more often now, the word that we use is pharmacy and a pharmacist instead of a drugstore and a druggist. Okay, um, we do have uh, uh, I think Walgreens in the United States still calls themselves a drugstore. Uh, they may have changed everything over to be uh, a local pharmacy, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, but mm -hmm. that's that's where drugstore comes from. It's a druggist, someone that uh, um, would uh, make and manufacture drugs. Okay, okay thanks. Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's see, Lily. So yeah. sometimes you have to have a doctor, uh, a doctor's note. So yeah. They write out a prescription for you to get certain medications. Sometimes, not all the time, and you would take that to the pharmacy or to the drugstore and they would give you your your medicine okay yeah, yeah. so Lily let me yeah. have you use the word drugstore or pharmacy in a sentence please okay my doctor asked me to go to a drugstore to buy some medicine good yeah the doctor asked me to go to a drugstore to buy some medicine fabulous Okay, let's go to uh, Lyad. Yes. Okay, Lyad. Uh, this next word here. Yes. Yeah, dr, drumstick. So let's practice that dr sound, Lyad. Dr, drumstick. 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 Good. That's how. That's how that yes. r sounds. Now. Um, uh, Drumstick. What uh, what kind of meat is on a drumstick, Lyad? Yes. Uh, uh, what kind of meat is this? Uh, is this pig? Is this cow? Is this chicken? chicken? Is this fish? What chicken. kind of meat is this? Good. Yes. It is. Yes, it it is. is. Yes. It good. 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 Yeah, so uh, so this uh, this could be uh, possibly turkey as well. Okay, so um, chicken or turkey. Now, Lyad, um, where yeah. can we purchase a uh, a drumstick? Uh, what's that? Uh, what uh, what type of places? Uh, what type of places can we purchase a drumstick at KFC? Good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kitchen. so yeah, uh, at okay. uh, at a kitchen, you can go kitchen to a house. kitchen and get it. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, at a a restaurant, good. Yeah, yeah. So Victor here, he mentioned a rec a restaurant uh, which was uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so yes, at a restaurant, uh, you can also purchase uh, uh, drumsticks at a deli. Okay, remember delis sell sell uh, meat as well. Okay, um, and also okay. from a butcher. Okay, you guys remember the butcher that sells meat? Okay, you can yes. get uh, you can get uh, uh, meat from a butcher as well. Okay, okay, so Lyad. Let me have you use the word drumstick in a sentence, please. Yes. No, I am not I like drumstick. Okay. Uh, when I when I eat, uh, I like to eat drumstick. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Let's go to uh, Julia. Yes. Julia, our next word here. Go ahead and read that, please. Wait a minute. Uh... I can see. I can see the picture. Okay. Dry cleaner. Okay, dry cleaner. What is a dry cleaner? 
uh, a dry cleaner is a place that you can get your, your, you know, the special clothes like sweets or I don't know, special, special sweater or something like that. Okay, but and and what do, what do they do with those special clothes? Uh, they um they wash it. They wash oh. it and they uh, they um dry, dry. Yeah, so dry cleaners. Okay, they they wash clothes. Um, they wash specialty clothes. So your your very nice clothes. Okay, they would wash. So uh, very expensive shirts. Okay, very expensive suits. And then dry okay, things yeah. like that. Uh huh. And then uh, they also iron them. Okay, iron. they iron them like uh, what she is doing. She's uh, ironing it. Iron. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so they they uh, they uh, uh, wash your clothes and then they and then they dry them as well as iron them. So they uh, they look very nice. Okay, that is a dry cleaner. Okay, uh, some places uh, have them. Uh, some countries have them. Some countries don't. Uh, I just barely found a dry cleaner here in Costa Rica the other day. I was really excited because I have mm -hmm. a pair of pants that uh, that I keep I keep trying to uh, um, to wash well, and they they just it doesn't it's what not happening. What is the difference between laundry and dry cleaning? Uh, lottery. Laundry. Oh, laundry. Okay. Laundry. Like that you can uh, wash the, your clothes. Uh huh. So a, a laundry, like a laundry mat. Laundry. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, she's asking about uh, this word here, Different. laundry mat. Okay. Uh, let's say, let's take a look at pictures. Okay. Uh, first off, a laundry mat is a place where you wash your own clothes. Okay. So they supply the machines okay you can go here uh, they supply the machines you pay a dollar or two dollars and you wash your own clothes okay then you dry your clothes and fold them okay so this is a place uh, if you do not have a washing machine you can go here and wash and dry your own clothes but a dry cleaner Okay, dry cleaner does it all for you. Okay, you give them your clothes and they wash them and they dry them and they iron them. Okay, so all you do is pick them up and your clothes look fabulous. Okay, that is the main difference. Okay, so uh, Julia, let me have you use the word dry cleaner in a sentence, please. Um, dry cleaner is clothes before they Okay, say that one more time, please. The dry cleaner is closed the whole day. Is closed. Okay, so um, make sure you use the uh, the, the uh, voiced s there. So closed the whole day. Okay, it means that they are, they are not open. They're closed the whole day. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's go to uh, Victor. Our next word here. Okay, go ahead and read that, please. Duplex. Okay, uh, Victor, this is a duplex. Oh, okay, duplex. Good, excellent. Now, what does it look like a duplex is? Uh, duplex is a building uh, uh, with... Uh, uh, Two houses. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, two houses. Yes, uh, yes it is. Yeah. It is two houses. Okay, a building <laughs> with two houses. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so a duplex. Okay, two houses stuck together. One house, yeah. two house. That would be a duplex. Okay. Um, let's see if we have. The part of it? Um, uh, maybe well, they're, going, they're going to be houses. 
Okay, they could be apartments. So let's yeah. uh, let's look up duplex apartments. Okay, you can have you can have either or. Okay, e uh, a, a duplex house or a duplex apartment. Uh, let's see here. Um, ah, they don't show these very well. Yes, uh, sometimes. Okay, so, sometimes they the uh, they're one on top of the other. Sometimes they are side by side. Okay, so uh, here's another shot. Uh, so this is a duplex. Uh, so one from the uh, back back side. So right here is one living house down below. Okay, oh, and on, on the other side. Okay, this is one upstairs. Okay, so you can uh, enter from the back side and then one from the uh, the uh, uh, front side. Okay, so there's two houses, one on top of the other. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's what a duplex would be. Okay, sometimes they are side by side, other times it's one on top of the other. All right, so Victor, uh, let me have you use the word duplex in a sentence, please. Um, I prefer a detached house from uh, instead of a duplex. Great, great, good job using instead of. Okay, instead of a duplex. Very good job. All right, let's uh, let's see here. We'll go to uh, our next two because they're the same. Uh, Samantha, go ahead and read our next two words, please. That is this. Egg. Okay, egg. So uh, here we're going to pronounce that more like an A sound. Egg and eggs with the with a Z at the end. Uh, that S is going to be a voiced S sound. Egg and eggs. Try that. Egg. Egg. Eggs. Good. Now, Samantha, um, uh, where are some places where we can buy uh, eggs? Uh, market. Uh huh. At the market. Yes. Uh, um, okay. What What are other names that we can call the market? Um, supermarket. Okay. Good. Yeah, we have supermarket. Also, by the butcher, uh, I buy the eggs. Okay, good. Sometimes butchers have eggs. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, In butchers. the farm. Ah, yes. Very cool. So you can also... You can also buy from, from the farm or straight from the farmers. Who yes. does that? I do that. So I, there's there's guys that come around here in Costa Rica and they sell they sell crates of eggs straight from the farm. It's much cheaper. I love it. So yeah, from the farmers. Okay. Yes. Um, Lily, yes, you're right. Grocery store is another word. Okay. Gro so grocery, grocery store. Mm -hmm. Good. So okay. grocery store, uh, butcher shop, uh, sometimes the deli, but more. More often than not, uh, Hokan, uh, the the deli does not sell eggs. Okay, sometimes they do, but more often than not, they sell specialty meats and food that is already prepared. Okay, very good. So Samantha, let me have you use the word egg or eggs in a sentence, please. Okay, I use eggs to make a cake. There you go. I use eggs to make a cake. And and uh, uh, did you uh, did you have a cake over the weekend? Uh, yes. Okay. Very good. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go to Sabri. All right, Sabri. Um, uh, what is this word here? Press move. Sabri, go ahead and read that word. He's gone, I think. Can no, I see? He's it? there. He's there. Uh, I'm sorry. Express mail. There you go, Sabri. Express mail. What would express mail be, Sabri? Uh, maybe Delaware. 
delivery. Maybe Express uh, mail. What does the word express mean, Sabri? Speed, speed mail. Yes, very fast. Yes. Okay, so uh, so very fast. Now um, we have uh, different types of express mail. Okay, uh, sometimes we use couriers. Okay, a courier uh, to uh, to deliver mail uh, very oh, yes. quickly. Okay, now a courier. Let's uh, let's look here at a and a courier. Sometimes they ride bikes. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes they ride bikes. Sometimes they ride um, motorcycles. Okay, let's see. Parcel. Okay, yeah, they, they deliver. They, deliver uh, small packages okay they deliver on bikes <laughs> they deliver on uh, motorcycles okay uh, throughout the uh, throughout the city okay so couriers would uh, would deliver express mail I don't know what this picture is about but yeah so they they just they deliver mail very quickly okay express mail Savri let me have you use the word express mail in a sentence please Okay. Uh, I wait. Uh, I wait uh, for express mail, uh, my friend. Uh, from from my friend. Uh, am I uh, from my friend? I'm, I'm sorry. Good. Yes. Yeah, so I I wait for express mail from my friend. Okay. Good. All right. Let's go to uh, Ruiso. Yes. Our next word here. Okay. Go ahead and read this word, please. Farm. Good, a farm. Okay, yeah. and uh, and uh, what sort of, of things happen on a farm? What uh, uh, what animals do we have on a farm, Ruso? Chicken, cows. Uh -huh. uh, chicken, cows. Good, chickens, cows. Yes. What else? Yeah. What other types of animals? Uh, Maybe a horse, a pig, yes, yes, a pig, yes. a, pig. A, dog. Okay. a dog. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, um, what uh, what are farms used for? Do they grow food? To raise animals. Uh, you can raise animals as well as food. Okay, yes. so you can uh, you can grow what's called crops or vegetables. Okay, crops. Okay, crops, crops are, are are food. So let's uh, if you hear the word crops. No. What okay, is crops? So farming. Uh, crops are are vegetables, uh, food, uh, fruits, uh, everything that you can uh, get from a farm. We would call that crops. Okay. So as you see here in this picture, uh, we have uh, carrots, uh, lettuce, um, zucchini, squash, tomatoes. But then we have peaches here. There are peaches. That's a fruit, as well as uh, as uh, um, strawberries. Those are fruits as well. So the fruits and vegetables from a uh, um, from a farm, okay, um, and that that could also include wheat this here would be wheat okay so yes uh, farms are, are great for uh, for growing food so we grow food all right or grow crops and uh, and uh, and animals we raise animals so uh, Ruso yeah. let me have you use the use the word farm in a sentence please I want to go to the farm this summer all right, very good. I want to go to the farm this summer. Okay, great. Yes. Let's go to uh, Roberto. Hello. Our Andrea. next word. Okay, uh, go ahead and read the next word, please. Yes, it's farmhouse. Excellent, a farmhouse. All right, and uh, what? Uh, why? Why do we have a special word for uh, for this? Okay, this looks like a regular house. I think I guess it's 
for is where uh, the owner or the farmer lives. Exactly. Okay, it's the owner of the farm where they where they live. Okay, it's called the farmhouse. Sometimes they are very large. Sometimes they are very small. Okay, it just depends. Okay, so farmhouse. Okay, uh, usually uh, it's uh, set back a ways. Okay, and you have a, a lot of land. Okay, these are some very beautiful farmhouses um, in, throughout the throughout the world. Okay, very beautiful, beautiful farmhouses. It reminds me of a uh, game at Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, the, what's that game? Is it uh, called the Farm Place or something? Or Farm uh, Animals? Yeah, something like that. Farm City, yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah. So, uh, Roberto, let me have you use the word farmhouse in a sentence, please. Uh, I went to the farmhouse to buy some uh, nice eggs. Good, good. I went to the farmhouse uh, to buy some nice eggs. Very good sentence. How about Lily? Our next word, please. Right here. Fire station. Great. A fire station. Okay. And uh, what, uh, uh, what is a fire station? Uh, say that one more time. I can barely, barely hear you. It's really scratchy. Okay. Uh, I said I know it, but I don't know how to explain it. Okay. All right. No problem. Can I? Um, can I? So sure, sure. Go for it. Uh, fire station is a place that um, it's just a place that it contains the firemen. So in this place, uh, the firemen have tools, the, the special uh, requirements to, uh, to, um, to go into the house uh, burning or something like that. Yeah, okay? when, when, there, when something happens, for example, a fire in a house, we call them. Okay, good. Uh, the office... Okay, the office for the firemen. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is where they uh, they would stay. Okay, yeah, it's their it's their central station. Okay, okay. so <clears throat> if uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so, so the fire station, uh, you you will uh, definitely have a truck truck there. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, you'll have, let me see if I can find inside. Okay, so inside the fire station, um, you'll, have, uh, you'll have a place to, uh, to eat, okay, because the firemen, they live there. So they, they live there for, um, for uh, you know, three or four days at a time. Okay, mm -hmm. they'll have a place to uh, lift weights because they need to stay strong. Okay, sometimes they have to carry people out of buildings. Mm -hmm. So you have a weight room there. You'll have bedrooms with beds. Okay, uh, a place for them to eat. And then uh, usually, like here, they have a place to practice so they can run up and down. Okay, and maintain their their physical abilities so that uh, that you would be safe if there ever was a. Uh, a fire and yes you're correct um, we do call the fire station when uh, when there is when there's trouble okay mm -hmm. um, and they would uh, they would come out and uh, and help us okay so mm -hmm. uh, let me have you use the word fire station in a uh, in a sentence okay Lily yes uh, in in summer the fire station is always busy Okay, good. In summer, the fire station, and we would we would say is is always busy. Uh, fire station is burning. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's do one last word, uh, Julia. Yeah. One last word here. We have this word. Go ahead and read that for me, please. Fish. 
fish. Okay. Now, where uh, where can we buy fish from? Where in uh, grocery stores, I think, in the supermarket. Okay. Market. All right. Or okay. maybe you're living in the outside. You can okay. you, you can you can take your, your your own fish. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes if you live next to the ocean or next to a lake. Um, you can go and buy it straight from the fishermen. Can I ask you something? Sure. Um, there it says the difference between fish. And the, I mean, fish is like, I mean both the, the animal alive and dead, right? Uh, yes, it's it's both of them. It's the same. Uh huh. Yes, we we only have uh, we only have one uh, one word for it. Okay, so yes, the uh, the fish that's alive, that's in the ocean or or in the river or the lake, and the fish that we eat. Okay, one word. Okay. How is called the? Uh, what's that? How is called the place where we where they uh, buy uh, fish? It's the it's the same word. We we only have one word for it. We we have one word, fish. Okay, and they can be alive and swimming. Or they can be dead, and we're going to eat them. Okay, okay. so that—that's the uh, the uh, we only have two words for it. Okay, very good. Yes, and so uh, you can buy it from the supermarket, the grocery store, uh, the butcher uh, may have fish as well. Okay, and if you live close to the ocean or to a lake, you can buy fish from the fishermen, and we you would go to what's called the dock. Okay, so the dock is where the boats come in and they stop. That is called a dock, and you can go to the dock, okay, and buy fish there sometimes as well. Okay, all right, let's uh, let's go, uh, uh, Julia. Let me have you you use the word fish in a sentence, please. Julia, let me have you use the word fish in a sentence. Okay, uh, very good. So we, we're a couple minutes over in class. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, I'm going to take a few hours break, and, uh, and then I'll be back for a couple afternoon classes, okay? Thank you guys very much. We'll see you. Take care. See you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.